Should we all just agree to give the crown to Aisha Buhari as the most controversial first lady in Nigeria ever? Because Aisha Buhari, as we all know, has been in the news very often or too often recently. And none of those reasons are even a pleasant one. First of all, the Awusa guy that, you know, insulted her on Twitter. She kidnapped, you know, tortured the boy for several days. And she was also accused, allegedly, you know, allegedly also kidnapped a former uh, aide. After she released the aide, the aide started accusing her of battery. He filed a suit in court, which is in court at the moment. Now here again, Aisha Buhari is in the news for another reason entirely before we go into the details of today's news if you haven't subscribed to this channel please and please subscribe turn on the post notification bell so that you'll be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other youtube viewers all around the world as well lastly please leave your comments in the comment section i love to hear from you Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has issued a statement threatening to arrest, investigate, and prosecute people spreading fake circulars purportedly from the APS Bank. The bank statement was coming a few hours after the wife of the Nigerian president from the CBN in which the APS Bank ordered the recirculation of the old Naira notes until May 10. Niger News reports that the fake CBN circular is being shared widely and reported across the news media. The circular reads, Due to the current and unpleasant situation happening in Nigeria, in line with Mr. President, after having a closed-door meeting with him on the 20th of February 2023, Central Bank of Nigeria has been directed to only reissue and recirculate the old 200 Naira, 500 Naira and 1000 Naira banknotes, and these is expected to circulate as legal tender for 70 days up to May 1st, 2023. Members of the public should therefore continue to spend the old notes. CBN swiftly reacted to the fake circular, describing it as fake. In the subsequent official statement, the APS Bank said it would stick to presidential directive to reissue only 200 Naira old banknotes. The bank further warned that it is working with law enforcement agencies to investigate, arrest and prosecute those spreading fake news, claiming it was from the CBN. The fresh statement co-signed by CBN Deputy Governor, Corporate Services Edward L. Adamo and Director Corporate Communications Osita Onwane Sobi reads, the attention of the Central Bank of Nigeria has been drawn to a fake press release purported to have emanated from the bank to the effect that President Muhammadu Buhari has approved the issuance and release of 500 Naira and 1,000 Naira notes as legal tender in the country. For the avoidance of doubt, the Central Bank of Nigeria reiterates that, in line with the directive of Mr. President, only 200 Naira old notes are to be reissued and circulated Concurrently with the new notes, members of the public are therefore advised to ignore these fake news. The bank is working with the law enforcement agencies to investigate, apprehend and prosecute the purveyors of these fake news. Please be guided accordingly, the statement warned. My own is that, like, how can a whole first lady... You know, just share a news that she did not verify. Like, she has the resources. If she wanted to actually verify that news, she has, you know, all the resources that she, she like, that you can ask for. She has everything at her disposal. 
she could have you know rang up her husband or probably you know contacted someone with cbn you know an high-ranking official with cbn she could have contacted you know and just anybody even a mefele himself you know to verify this news before posting it but no as always <laughs> aisha buhari decided to just you know go ahead you know just speak something she saw on social media and you know just posted it just like we all know that right from the start you know i i feel that there is tension between aisha buhari and emifele you know even because you guys remember when el rufai mentioned that there are some cabals you know in asorok who you is trying to should we say deceive buhari and who is try who are trying to antagonize Tinobu and not and they do not want Tinobu to win, and that this cabal, this said element, are secretly working against APC and Buhari. Aisha Buhari went ahead, if you remember, she went ahead and shared, you know, this information, this said video, this said interview that El Rufai had on Channel's television morning show on her Twitter page. And people started, you know, talking about it, that it means that uh, Aisha Buhari knows about this cabal. People just had a lot to say. Uh, but, you know, she, I feel that Aisha Buhari, she she has a way of, you know, saying something and not saying something at the same time. Like, she doesn't want to be quoted to have said something in the news. So she has a way of, you know, just sneakish, sneakishly, you know, putting out information to the public and then she would just pretend as if she never said anything. One of those examples is what I just mentioned, you know. And I think, or probably she knew it was a fake information and just wanted to draw Amy Feely's attention or to draw uh, the concerned individual's attention to that information because, like, how? Firstly, the whole first lady of the country how can she not know that it is fake news at least before any information gets out i feel that she should be one of those people that would be privy to short such informations but let me know what you all think in the comment section these are just my thoughts you guys know i don't know much i'm just keeping it real i'll see you in my next video guys bye for now